Hey everybody, welcome to the Wall Duck Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look inside our brand new Mathematics for Everyday Learning. This is a real world math guide for learners of all ages. Math for Everyday Learning, real world math for learners of all ages, is designed to help your children learn math using a practical and intuitive approach. The more we learn and use math in our everyday lives, the more we understand that math is not just an abstract subject, it's a tool that enhances our ability to navigate and understand the world around us. Because of this, our children, especially those who are more concrete, multi-sensory learners, often find math to be more easily accessible when they're able to learn it in the real world. This guide has everything you need to create an engaging and immersive real life math experience for your child. Included in Mathematics for Everyday Learning, there are our favorite math resources, which is an extensive book, game, and YouTube video list. And then the rest of the guide is split into two different sections, math in the real world and interest-based math. I'm gonna show you some of what's included, but basically it's going to be math in the kitchen, math at the store, math and technology, math in the garden, math on the go, math in the arts, and then for interest-based math, we're gonna be talking about math as it relates to animals, human body, sports, space, and history. Here's the fantastic thing about this book list. I did my best to split it by concept. So it's super easy for you to say, oh, we're gonna be learning about counting in our homeschool or that's what I wanna work on with my child. Here are the books that you're going to read for that concept. Maybe you wanna work on multiplication. Here are the books for multiplication. Division, time, measurement, fractions, decimals, and percents. Money math, shapes and geometry, graphing, patterns and tessellations, and even advanced concepts. This was something that I really, really wanted to include, especially now that Emily's getting older and is in middle school, I wanted those advanced concepts. Same thing for math games. We have them split by different concepts. So counting in number sense, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, time, measurement, fractions, decimals, and percents. Money math, shapes and geometry, graphing, patterns and tessellations, and advanced concepts. Each of them has at least eight to 10 games listed for you, so plenty of different options. Maybe you don't have access to books and games or your kid is a visual learner, then we did the same thing with YouTube videos. Each of these is a clickable link from the guide, so you can just click on, okay, we're gonna learn about counting, and here's a video for that. Multiplication, here's some videos for that. Fractions, decimals, and percents, clickable videos for that. Graphing, advanced concepts. After you get through all of the amazing resources, which honestly, hands down, is one of the best things, we get into math in the real world. This is your introduction, a little bit more why we did it. Then math in the kitchen. One of the things that I was super excited about and what I wish I had when Emily was little and I'm glad I have now is that I don't have to think about application. I can say I want to work on multiplication and I want to do some baking today and here are some real life in the kitchen activities that we can do like creating an array with cookies or crackers, using the egg cartons to create multiplication problems by multiplying the number of eggs in each row by the number of rows doubling or tripling recipes. Like here are real world, like just do this. I don't even have to think about it. And we have those for math in the kitchen, again, all the way to advanced concepts, math in the garden, all split by different concepts, math at the store with specialized activities that you can do. Math on the go, math and technology, math in the arts, and then there's a section on interest-based math. Now, obviously, I know that there are more interests than the ones that I've included. My hope is that by including and giving you an outline for how you can use math if your kids are interested in animals or how you can use math if they're interested in space 
or some of the different activities that you conclude if they're interested in the human body is basically that after you've seen kind of this layout, you will be able to take whatever your child's interest is and build upon it for yourself. So we also included math for the history buff. And math for the sports fan. 